It's mailbox day. Yeah, I guess we've got a little bit of rain. Check out the uh, that low spot by the behind the target down there. So I think that'll work out well once we dig out a pond in the future. All right, we got to repair the lawnmower. See what critters are under here now. And I caught this small ringneck snake. He was actually living under the lawnmower. So I let him go over by the woodshed. All right, so back a month ago, the handle on the zero turn, a couple brackets broke. Um, this is the base bracket and then the bracket on the handle itself. So here's the part, this is the base bracket. And then here's the, bracket on the handle so had we had it was a challenge getting this part in so we finally got it in that kind of paced us coming back down here and so now i'm just going to replace these two brackets and that should allow us to go ahead and get this thing cut and then we'll head over and put a post in the ground for the mailbox um, that's about it so i'm just trying to access this base bracket and we'll go from there okay good morning everyone it's been a little over a month since we've been back down to the property and that was primarily due to waiting on lawnmower parts. The control arm on one side of the lawnmower, uh, one of the brackets at the control arm, and then the base bracket broke. So one of the parts was on back order and it took uh, four to five weeks for that part to come in. So we're uh, back down here. This is early August. So I wanted to go over a couple of quick updates with you. So <clears throat> the well is scheduled to be drilled end of this month. And we'll go in, let me see if I can point over here, uh, toward the edge of our property. It needs to be 100 feet minimum away from the septic system. Um, and you can see that we've already started, you know, just mowing down all the areas. Uh, I got the bracket changed on the lawnmower yesterday. We got out here yesterday morning. And I got most of the cutting done yesterday. Uh, another thing we're going to do today once we cut this area is uh, we need to finalize where we want the house to go. And another update there is the dirt work, the foundation dirt work will start end of this month as well. So we've got to get, uh, so I need, just need to square up and mark the corners of the house. And another thing that uh, we're working on, you may not be able to see it. Let me turn this camera around. Uh, you might not be able to see it. I'll circle it. I'll try to circle it or put an arrow in the video. But that's the nearest power pole to our property. And I've got to clear a six foot path, wide path, from the corner of where the house is going to go to that pole. And that's so they can lay the underground wiring in. So that's going to be the task. Probably not this trip, but the next trip down. Uh, let's see, another update. The reason Cindy's not walking with me is she's not feeling well. So she's over here sitting in the shade with her cup of coffee so another update is we had our ground tested for the septic system and they came in here and dug a couple of different holes and we got the report back and we're going to be able to install just a standard septic system so nothing special and nothing too expensive for the septic system and then, check this out. Let's 
So back here in the range area, if you remember, we have a, a low spot back here where water collects. And our rain gauge has topped out at five inches. And since we haven't been here for a month, uh, there's no telling how many inches of rain we've, we've gotten. But uh, check this out. Feel like I should uh, grab my fishing pole out of the truck. A little bit of water back here. So this just reinforces our idea to dig this out and set up a pond back here and just rearrange where the targets are. And let's see, uh, one other update. I did set the post yesterday for our mailbox and I will put the mailbox in today. And I was joking with Cindy that this week I'm going to send myself a letter just as a test case. Uh, because the road that our address is based on is considered a new road. So I don't know if it's fully in the system yet. So that's the quick update. Oh, one other thing. I did make a few changes to our floor plan. And I'll share that with you here in a few minutes. And I think the changes, you know, drawing this out and going through multiple scenarios has really helped us kind of uh, finalize our floor plan. So we'll take a look at that here in a few minutes. Let's review the changes we've made to our floor plan. So let's come in from on the right side through the garage. So if you'll notice, instead of having a garage door on the right side and a garage door on the left side of the garage, um, we moved um, the one garage door over to the center. So now we have um, the garage bays to the left and the workshop area will be to the right. Keep in mind that this is where we're going to park the RV while we finish out the house. So now the other changes we made to the garage area, we added a drain between the garage bays. We added a sink and a toilet. Now the toilet, uh, long term, we may or may not actually install the toilet. Uh, short term, we will connect our gray and black tank hose to the toilet flange. And then the sink gives us the option to connect a water line uh, to the RV as well. The only other change to highlight in the garage is the back windows, the windows along the back side of the garage. Um, those will be installed higher than normal. The base of the windows will be at four feet, and that's to allow us the space to install a workbench along that back wall. Okay, coming into the utility room. Previously, we had the washer and dryer in the utility room. But the problem was we had uh, we were running up against the limit on the dryer vent line run. So I moved the washer and dryer to a at the end of the hall, a washer and dryer closet. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, I did add a water softener and an on demand water heater in the utility room. And then we also have space for an upright freezer. OK, coming into the great room. Uh, the only change here was uh, we 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 swap places between this door and this window, uh, and that's to give us more uninterrupted room in the in the living room area. We move the porch down to the end of the building, and now that's centered over the door and the window combination. Uh, coming down the hall, I just mentioned the washer and dryer closet, so we move that here. And then along the back wall here, we're putting in a two by six wall, and that gives us the additional wall thickness uh, for the four inch uh, dryer vent line. Uh, the other thing we did was we extended the closet into the spare bedroom. And that's uh, because we took up the real estate for the washer and dryer closet. We wanted to get that space back in the master closet and then and then it gives us this small closet for the spare room, which the plan is we'll use this whole space for the master closet. 
and the next owner of this house can easily close this off if they want a separate closet for the spare bedroom. And the only other change was the door in the master bedroom was centered. We moved that over to the right and that porch also moved over so it stays centered with the door. And then we took the window that was on the west side of the house and moved it over to the north side of the house. And then that gives us plenty of real estate over here for a king size bed. And that is the latest on our floor plan. I want to thank everyone for watching and I hope everyone has a great week.